Oh, man, I'm hungry. Good thing I have my food chest right here. Let's grab me some cookie. Yo, 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 yo. Where did all my cookies go? Bruh. Well, there's only one solution to that. That's right. In this episode, I built myself a massive cookie factory that has real workers and moving conveyor belts. It turned out pretty cool. And we're finally on episode 30, which is a huge milestone. So to celebrate, I'll be giving away something very special to the cookie army later in this video. So stay tuned for that. Welcome to episode 30, and I hope you guys enjoy. Luckily for me, I have a bunch of bricks already from building my animal farm a couple episodes ago. So I probably don't need to go clay hunting anymore, which saves me a bunch of time. But I also need some stone bricks and I literally have like an unlimited supply of stone bricks. I mine for stone so often. Let's grab all this, maybe some chains that'll fit the factory vibe. And let's get some glass panes going. Oh, oh, oh. That, that is a lot more than I thought. Okay. <laughs> um, I made a little too much. Let's throw this in this chest over here. I really need to make a bigger chest room too, because all of these chests are getting so full but that'll be for another episode now let's go find a perfect spot to build this factory i want to build it like further away because i don't want a factory close by to all of my homes because you know it, it's a factory so i'm guessing i gotta start new land again and expand this entire world and this place is getting pretty massive already every single episode we're expanding so much so if you guys want to see how big this world gets please consider subscribing and so far i've only been building on this little separate island over here i haven't started anything on this side so i think it's finally the time to expand over here let's just take some time and clear all of this grass away because i hate having grass everywhere it's so nasty all right i actually decided to change spots because there's a huge empty area behind the barn and the village it's kind of blocked by all of this stuff but there is a big empty land here so i'm gonna build it right here but now let's start cleaning up and terraforming the land Now that's all finished, let's start working on the outline for this cookie factory. I'm actually really excited for this. I'm finally going to have my own factory to produce a bunch of cookies. Literally millions of them. Now that's a dream come true. So I'm going to make this very nice. It's going to be the best factory you guys have ever seen in your life. So let's continue on this outline here. All right, this is what I got so far. There's not much. It's only a wall, but I got the entry into the factory and a huge outline for a giant cookie. Because, you know, it's a cookie factory. <laughs> It's like, if you guys didn't know, I'm building a game. I'm done. Anyways, let's continue the outline. I still have a lot of work to do. Man, I really need to start working on my jokes. Like, they are so bad. And this is what I got so far. I actually really like this design. I had some pretty big doubts before building this thing, but I really like how it turned out. But now, I just got to add some windows over here, build the big cookie, and expand it all the way through. And once we have that, we're going to fill this entire place up with a cookie factory. It's going to be pretty insane. But now, let's just start finishing up the entire factory building. I'll be giving away a custom Minecraft gaming chair that's worth $700. More details about that on my second channel and on Twitter. Anyways, back to the video. Ah, uh, yes, I'm finally done. That took me forever. <sighs> Hey, and the factory is complete. I feel like it's kind of out of place compared to the rest of my hardcore world. It's like a giant brick building. Anyways, we have a pretty large space to work with now to make the cookie factory. And for the floor, I think I'm gonna use some smooth stone slabs because it looks kind of like tiley, like a kitchen, you know, so it's like clean and cut. Yeah, I don't know. So let's mine out all this grass and finish the floor. This is a lot of dirt. Holy cow. I thought this would be enough stone slabs. Look at the amount of dirt I have. I can't even pick it all up. Yeah. Ah! Oh, that kind of scared me. <laughs> ah, bad aim. Bro. Oh my. Okay, I didn't think it was that dark in here. Like, I have a whole army of zombies coming to me now. Oh, never mind. The sun can take care of them. Bro. Bro. What, what are the chances of five creepers to spawn? What the heck? This game literally hates me. Like, there's so many different types of mobs that can spawn. But no, creepers have to spawn. <clears throat> oh, I missed. Yes, on nothing. Let's just uh, keep placing down blocks like I usually do. <laughs> My life is so sad. And I read some of your comments saying that stone cutters actually save me a lot of materials. I'm gonna try this out. I've never used this before. First off, I need to smell even more stone because I'm running out of smooth stone. And while I do that, let's go for a quick snack break because I'm hungry. It's morning. I haven't ate yet and I'm starving. I'll be back in like six hours. 
All right, I am back. I just ate a bagel. And, what? Where's my stone? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Did I really forget to turn it on? Need to, uh, my brain is actually the size of a raisin, bro. It's like so shriveled up. I actually forgot to turn it on. I was gone for like an hour. Uh, come on. Well, I'm going to see you guys in 2025. All right, I'm finally back and let's use this stone cutter. What can I get? I only get two. Are you kidding? Wait, 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 wait. Come on. There's no way that's a better deal than doing this, right? Oh, I saved two pieces of stone slab. Now that is a deal. Why isn't everybody doing this? This is amazing deal. You save two pieces. Like that is so unreal. Probably the worst deal I've ever heard in my life. Well, let's go right back to placing down some slabs. Bruh, 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 bruh. This boy decked out, bruh. Jeez. Bro, whoever's behind me shooting at me really sucks at aiming. All oh, these arrows are... Bro, you really need some help. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Bro, this is really turning into a creeper farm now. Like, why, why, why? The creeper gods literally have something against me. Like, what, what is up with this? Why? Does this happen to anybody else? Please let me know. <clears throat> Go away. All right, now let's start filling it up with some cookie stuff. I'm really excited for this. I need an entire wheat farm, cocoa bean farm, and like some random stuff moving around. I don't know what yet, but it's gonna turn out awesome. And now my plan is to build a giant oven in the middle of this entire factory and have like cookies dispensed out of it i think that would be a pretty cool idea uh, so this is like the final touch area so on this side will be like cocoa bean farms that side will be a wheat farm and then somehow i'm gonna make it like transport over here through the fire and then pop out right in front of here and that made any sense all right there we go i think that's pretty decent let's put a line of bricks right here let's put some iron fences like this and let's remove this area inside the oven slap down some hay blocks at the very bottom and now some campfires for the smoke effect this is gonna add a nice touch to the oven bam and there we go we got the oven and now i'm gonna fill up the back with some blackstone to make it look a little darker and cooler and now let's build the chimney all the way up to the ceiling all right this might be the ugliest uh <laughs> Oh my, okay. <laughs> this might be the ugliest oven I've ever built. Like, look, look at the shape of this thing. It goes like, it goes up and then like a weird little curve and out oh, that way. It's the weirdest thing I've built, but I don't want to go through the roof. That's the problem. It looks really nice. So you know what? I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. All right. I got my cocoa beans and I don't have any jungle wood, unfortunately, but I do remember I brought home some jungle saplings. Let's go. Let's grow a fat tree right in the middle of my island. <laughs> yeah, that, that is so weird seeing a jungle tree here. It's so out of place. But now let's spend some time cutting down some jungle trees for some wood. All right, now let's start working on the cocoa bean farm. That would be right in this corner over here. Let's build a staircase up like this. Honestly, I don't even know why I built out this floor out of stone. If I'm building a floor right above it with wood, it's such a waste of stone and materials and time. I'm so bad at planning things, but oh well. I'm too lazy to break it now. Let's just leave it. All right, I built out a little table right here that will hold off the jungle wood. That will grow the cocoa beans. And right on this side, we'll have the pistons that will move it all and harvest it automatically. So I don't need to do anything because i'm just that lazy so let's fill it all the way up and now for the jungle wood i have no idea how i'm supposed to do the redstone for this though i have a really tight space to work with so i might have to move this back actually i don't know why i built it so close to the wall all right I got the wall nice and designed and like hidden i still need to line it up with the redstone though so where should i put this lever huh i don't really have a good place to put it so let's just put it against like this wall right here right on the floor it's kind of ugly but i have no other choice so now let's connect it up like this Let's bring it up here and connect it up. Why isn't it moving? Hello? Why is it? Oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot pistons can only push 12 blocks. I made this like 30. All right, my brain is not working today. All right, shorten the length. Hopefully it works now. Oh, I hear it. Okay, sounds good. It's working. Let's connect it up to all of these pistons now. And we are good. Now let's put a slight delay over to these pistons. So when I click the button, it will push all these logs and then it will push it back. And there we go. Hopefully that all works. Let's unflip this and it should flip back right maybe not i think i need to turn this on first so i push it back and it should well, hello hello um you are in the totally wrong spot you should not be in the cookie factory you should be in the end what are you doing here okay i'll, I'll let him be but let's click the button now it pushes that way and it pushes right back awesome works perfect now all we have to do is line it up with some cocoa beans and we got ourselves the cocoa bean part for the cookie farm this is super exciting especially because of us we are the cookie army and it's looking pretty good oh oh, oh please Whee! <laughs> 
And before we finish up the cocoa bean farm, I do want to make the conveyor belt that carries the cocoa beans into the fireplace. And also the wheat will come in and somehow I want cookies to pop out of here. I have no idea how I'm going to do that, but we're going to figure out a way. It's going to be sick. So let's put some little support beams that will carry the conveyor belt over to the oven. I actually have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is going to take a little bit of experimenting here, but, but let's put a piston here. Actually, won't be able to push it all the way through because it can only push 12 blocks. So, so let's change it up a little bit. Let's bring this wall out a little bit more to cover more of the behind the scenes part. All right, after a little bit of messing around, I finally got the correct sizing to make this work. I had to bring out these walls a little bit. But here we go. There's one piston over here. It'll push this conveyor belt over here. And it's just enough to where it can reset. And this piston will push it back. And it'll just be a looping system that goes all the way around, if that makes sense. So now let's make the conveyor belt. I think I'm going to make it double stairs like this so it can hold the cocoa beans right between this so it will carry it along and i've never tested it yet so hopefully it works and i got the conveyor belt finished and i'm hoping this works let's build this inner wall out of some polished deep slate i've never used this before i thought it'd be pretty fancy it looks pretty industrial i think and now i just gotta connect up all the redstone to make these pistons move in order so let's put a little delay on every single side like this oh wait i don't think that will work actually because this one needs to activate and then that piston needs to activate then this one will be the third and then this one will be the last so it moves in a circle so i'm gonna have oh this is gonna get real messy <laughs> okay i think i got it done let's turn it on and let's pray it works i got this little circuit going here please work okay it's not working that's that's kind of awkward okay i think i got it working i think i got it working all the blocks are moving around which is good let's take a look from the outside now and it, the conveyor belt should be moving and it is hopefully i didn't mess up any of the blocks as well okay it looks pretty good so far dang i'm actually kind of impressed i don't like how i can see the piston pushing it but what can you do unless i bring out this wall one more like this and just make it a little bit thicker oh yeah that's way better okay let's do that oh yeah now that's a working conveyor belt right there that is so sick has anybody ever seen a working conveyor belt before well it's not really working it's not carrying anything yet but it looks pretty sick now i just need to figure out a way to put cocoa beans in between these two stairs so oh this part's messed up oh no okay i, I messed up here Oh, what? Where'd that creeper come from? Bruh. All right, but I gotta fix this part. Um, okay, let, oh no. Oh no, I think I broke it. I, I think I broke it. Oh no. I just need to slap an extra block right here and that should fix it, but I might have an odd number of blocks. That's probably why there's one messed up piece like right here. All right, but now I need to figure out a way to get some cocoa beans in between these stairs, which might be a little difficult. I did a little bit of testing in single player to see if it'll work and it does work slightly, but it's not the best thing ever. <laughs> but I'll still try it because it'll be sick to see cocoa beans just moving on these conveyor belts. So let's fill up these little gaps to make sure no cocoa beans fall out of here and I'm out of stone. Nice. All right. Now let's put a dispenser right here. Actually, that's probably not a good spot. Let's put it... Uh, where'd I put it? <laughs> in, in here, actually. That's a great spot. Good idea, Cookie. Now I just needed to spit out some cocoa beans. So might as well just connect it up to here, right? And I could just spit one out every single time the circuit goes around. So let's put some cocoa beans in here and let's see if it actually sits into those conveyor belts and moves around. Oh, it actually works. Yo, it's moving. No way. It's actually moving. I didn't think it would move. All right, that's sick. It probably won't move around the corners, though, which kind of scares me. Oh, whoops. That block kind of messed it up, I think. What did it mess it up? Oh, it's still there. Okay, never mind. Oh, the cocoa bean just fell. Oh, wait, it's still up. Okay, this is surprising me a lot more than it is. Let's go check the top. Let's see if it actually moves across. Oh, bro, that is insane. That is so OP. It's actually going around the conveyor belt. Holy cow. We just cured cancer. Okay, there's one more. There's one more on the conveyor belt. But it's kind of hard for oh there's two. It's kind of hard for it to get actually get like oh my god I can't speak. It's actually hard for it to get on top of it. So maybe if I add some water, it will help it fall into these little crevices or something. Okay, I got some water in there now. Maybe it will help. Let's take a look. Oh, it's shooting above it now. All right, I got some glass over top and let's see if it works with the water. Maybe it works a little. Oh, it actually falls in. Okay. Oh, hold up. Yo, that actually works so well. What? Wait. Oh, stacking up with this one now. Come on. Okay, it works like some of the time. Not every single time though. Oh, I keep stacking okay let's collect that what what if i move the water a little bit further down would it change anything because it needs to fall into a little crevice
Travis. Oh, keep stacking up, bro. Come on. Hey, but it's not doing too bad, though. I do see some cocoa beans on here. That's so cool. It's, it's actually a working conveyor belt. Look at that. It's literally moving cocoa beans. That is so cool. So the cocoa bean part is complete now. I got the cocoa bean wall, and it basically looks like it's moving cocoa beans from this side over into the oven. Let's just collect some more cocoa beans, slap this button, and bam. Let's go to over here and fill up this chest. Not the chest, the dispenser, and we are golden. And now all we have to do is work on the wheat side of the cookie farm. And for the wheat farm, it's going to be pretty simple. Nothing too fancy. I'm either going to have a normal wheat farm that had just like a water dispenser that breaks all the wheat for me and I have to replant it, or I might try to get a villager in here and see if I can make it work. So the villager can do all the wheat grinding for me because, you know, I'm so lazy. I've never made an automatic wheat farm with a villager before, so let's put some water down here, and let's get two composters right above the water, and let's fill it up some glass so I have a nice viewing area and the villagers won't be able to escape. All right, and there we go. All I gotta do is throw two villagers in here that are in need of jobs, and luckily, my village is right behind my cookie factory. All right, let's break into the village. Hello, guys. I haven't been here in a while, actually. What? Oh my god, that actually scared me. I thought I just saw a ghost. The ghost just ran by me so quickly. Anyways, let's build a little rail system and carry some of these villagers over to the cookie factory. I'm not sure why they're all bunched up over here, though, but it makes my job a lot easier. So let's make some rails. Do a Tokyo Drift. Skrr! Another around these flowers and into the factory. Up these stairs and we should be good. All right, let's chop some of this bamboo down. Let's bring the rails all the way through here and hop on the minecarts, boys. Let's go. Here we are. Who, who wants a new job yes you do and i'm too fat to fit through i'm stuck i'm literally stuck oh okay never mind All right, let's go buddy to the new world you go Whee! oh yeah it's actually working pretty good i didn't even add that many power oh you, they actually went all the way through all right perfect like i must have a strong head <laughs> all right and they should be good to go hey brother you see that compost over there you're gonna have to go over there and take that job for me all right no no no, no get back in there yeah oh you can't jump that high man trying to escape and everything hey there we go they both got their jobs and now all i gotta do is give them seeds why oh i need light i keep forgetting it's really dark in here let's slap down some glowstone bop and there we go that should work and let's also fill up these compost posters and make their job easier honestly i don't even know what composters do but uh i just fill it up for i don't know i see people do it so i'm gonna do it too all right and with all the seeds planted down all i gotta do is go below this right here and add the minecart system that'll pick up all of the trash i mean not the trash the wheat all right and now let's line up the bottom of this farm with the rails and a hopper minecart to pick it all up at least i think that's how it works so let's put some powered rails in the middle and it's supposed to go something like uh yeah no idea what i'm doing youtube hey so far it's going pretty good i think i figured out the, the mojo <laughs> oh i need I, I see some dumb stuff i think if i put a hopper minecart here it should collect all the wheat that the villagers harvest and we should be done with the wheat part i think i don't know i'm just going with the flow all right but here's the last and final row there we go and i'll connect it back here and this should bring it all the way back to the normal circuit thingy oh i'm so bad at explaining things but let's put one more powered rail just to be safe and we should be good Let's slap her down. Hey, move in, buddy. Come on, my cart. I, I know you could do it. Move, move, bro. Bro. Okay, let me give this a little nudge. Ugh. All right, there we go. Hopefully, these little floating rails don't block it. But it should make it all the way over here with no problem. I forgot it collects it up. All right, perfect. And there we go. All right, now all I gotta do is add some hoppers facing this way. How am I supposed to get out? Oh, no. Okay, do that quickly. Where's my ha rails? Bam. Ah, I'm messing it. Oh, I'm messing everything up. Hurry. And there we go. And now, if I put a chest right here it should be able to collect it all hopefully that works and while we wait to see if it actually works let's start working on the conveyor belt for the wheat blocks i'm gonna push into the oven as well and then it's gonna combine and poop out some cookies let's start off by building the same deep slate wall as the one over there to the ceiling we go bam 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 Whee! and now instead of this one like it's on the ground i'm actually gonna do it so the wheat is kind of like in the air or something like that i do want to be able to have like separate conveyor belts too i think that looks sick so it might redesign this so i can have like at least two more conveyor belts there's one on top of this one but this one is working out insane there's literally there's literally cocoa bean on every single conveyor belt that's so sick so let's take my pistons and let's make it like right here on the same level i want to make another one up there so what i have to do is place a piston here make sure it's 12 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine well oh, this is a lot smaller all right a piston over here that's 12 blocks let's slap a piston right here and another right here and that makes a full loop and now 
Al is lining up with some wheat. I'm gonna use some painting glass to separate them like this. And let's go all the way around. All right, that should do. And now we just got connected up. And this one should be a lot easier. All I gotta do is go around this line like this, and it should work. Put another repeater here, and bam. And now let's test it out. Hopefully it works. Bam. And it should move all the wheat all the way around. And it's not amazing. I just broke it. Okay, let's put it right there. And it should be working. Never mind. I I've definitely did something wrong here. Maybe a glass pane to add more blocks. And it should push it all the way around. Um, What happened? I think I need to add one more block. I have no idea what's happening. Bam. Okay, let's try that. All right, there we go. It's just, a, it's just the odd numbers. So there's going to be two panes of glass over here, which kind of messes it up, but it's all good. It's working at least. And we have a functioning conveyor belt. Oh, bruh. I move, it's moving in the wrong direction. Oh my God. No wonder that one was someone. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys when I fix this up. It's moving in the wrong direction right now. And there he goes. Oh, that guy just leaped over me. What the heck? Okay, I gotta be aware of that creeper there. I know he's gonna sneak up on me eventually, but I finally got it working. Oh, it's moving in the wrong direction again. Bro, what is wrong with me? All right, all right. Take three, take three. Let me redo this. One of my brain is not working. I really need to sleep. All right, I finally got it working. I realized I placed the pistons wrong the entire time, so I spent like 10 extra minutes playing with redstone that didn't even help at all. But there we go. Oh, this part is messed up here. Let me readjust that. And bam, that should be more symmetrical. But this design is a lot cleaner than that one because that one requires some cocoa beans to be shot out of a dispenser. This one just moves blocks around. So I can easily replicate this up these floors. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And there we go. We got double rows now of hay or wheat moving into the oven. And let's also check on my villagers. How What are they doing? We got one piece of wheat. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> but hey, there we go. We got the cocoa bean farm with the cocoa bean conveyor belt moving into the oven. And we have the wheat farm of my two villagers. Drop some names in the comments. Moving wheat into the oven as well. And you guys know wheat plus cocoa beans makes cookies. And just a quick break. If you guys are new to my channel and this hardcore series, I have something called the wall of leaves. And every single episode, I pick two random people to be shouted out on this wall. So go hit the subscribe button if you guys want to be shouted out. And congratulations to these three fans. Anyways, back to the video. And now I just got to figure out a way to shoot cookies out of this thing. And I think it'd be pretty cool to have like a water stream come out of this wall and just pour down cookies onto the floor. That's what I'm going to do. Kind of strange, but you know, it's a cookie factory. It has to be unique. So let's put down some glass right here and we'll add a water stream at the end right here. Oh, that might be a little dangerous. There's some redstone here. I think we should be fine though. If I place a water bucket right here, it should end right here and it does. Okay. So all I got to do is put a dispenser right here and shoot out cookies and we got a cookie factory. Slap down a dispenser and some water and let's build the same thing on the other side. Let's build a little circuit right here. I'll shoot out the cookies connected to the dispensers here and now let's load it with cookies. I don't have a lot. I couldn't make too many, but I think five stacks and a half will do for now. Let's light her up and let's go take a look. Ugh, and oh yeah, it's actually spitting out cookies. Yo, we got ourselves a cookie factory now. This is amazing. <laughs> let's go. That is so awesome. As phantoms fly above me. Oh, I hate phantoms. It's probably the most advanced factory anybody has ever seen. At least for me. I've never seen anything more fancy than this. But I don't want cookies just laying on the floor and getting rotten. So I think I'm going to make the cookies reusable. It's going to go underground and back up an elevator back into the dispenser so we never run out of cookies. I just need to make sure it's in the correct position to fall down into. So let's make a little hole right here. And it, hopefully all the cookies fall into this little hole. Let's do the same thing on this side. And if it doesn't miss the hole, oh, this one just missed. And this one. Okay. Let's make the hole a little bit bigger like this. Now I'm going to make this lead underground and it'll go behind this oven and back into those dispensers so we don't waste any cookies. All right. Now let's put some water down to lead the cookies back into the middle here. It's literally raining cookies right now as I'm building. It's kind of funny. All right. It goes right back here. And now we just got to move it over back underneath this entire thing. Let's put some slabs down. All right. They fall right underneath, I think, which is perfect. Some water again. And let's go underneath the factory. Let's make a quick water elevator now for these items. Let's get some hovers placed down into these dispensers. Slap down these kelp blocks. And up goes the cookies. All right. Hopefully it splits evenly into these dispensers. Oh, I did not build this correctly. I got to drop it down one floor. I'm getting really close to redstone. So I got to be pretty careful here. And there we go. The stream goes into these hoppers and let's build a little platform above here so the cookies don't fly out and we should be good now reusable cookies <laughs> probably nothing anybody has ever seen before and man behind here is a redstone mess there's so much stuff going on back here holy cow but now let's
let's take a look and yeah all the cookies are shooting out of there and flying right back down into the stream and we're never gonna run out of cookies now let's just give this place a quick little design here and there we go now that's pretty awesome the cookie farm is looking amazing but anyways all i have to do now is build a giant cookie right here and probably a little one up there in the middle of the factory and we should be good this is a really bright block orange concrete oh it kind of hurting my eyes you guys know that feeling when you guys like are outside for a very long time it's really bright and sunny out and you walk into a dark room and your eyes just like your eyes just hurt that's what i feel like right now it's kind of weird maybe because it's dark in my room right now but i'm getting some uh, nostalgic right now like back in my elementary days anyways the cookie is done Yeet. oh just broke my feet and bam let's go the cookie factory is in honestly i should have maybe popped it out instead of made it go in oh do i really need to do that i have to okay let me flip this yeah that looks way better having a sticking out and now we got build a little cookie up there let's see what i could come up with And there we have it. The cookie god finally has his cookie factory. I just don't have any cookie minions yet. So if you guys are looking to be a cookie minion or cookie worker, let me know in the comments and I'll feed you cookies all day long. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This took me a pretty long time, longer than I expected. Please subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys later.